The project I was talking about today is my analysis of uh, most successful gay and lesbian magazines that were published in communist Poland in the 1980s. When I was analyzing those magazines, I was quite surprised to uh, find out that there was so many information about the West in those magazines. Uh, that's why I decided to focus on that, on those transnational flows of cultural products, but also words, uh, identity paradigms and activist models. So what it means to be a homosexual and what it means to do a homosexual activism. So I was basically talking about those transnational uh, flows related to homosexuality already in communist Europe. Because very often we have this idea that the Eastern Bloc was nearly totally isolated. There was no communication between Eastern Bloc and Western Bloc. And I think that's why it was so surprising to see that through those magazines, actually the homosexual activism on both sides were communicating with each other.